I will include a link in the description of the VOD of this to ABC News's coverage of Joe Biden's latest speech. It was his first speech after he had uh, notified the public that he would end his campaign for president of the United States, that he was no longer going to run to be the president uh, anymore. And he was endorsing Kamala Harris, his vice president. I hope that when future generations hear the story of Joe Biden, uh, it's told beginning with that speech. Because when future generations see it, they'll think that his was a life of tragedy, all leading to this final sad moment. But when they return to that moment, on the other side of learning about the last eight years, they'll see that that speech was his greatest triumph. In an era created by selfish political decisions, Joe Biden set the presidency aside to save democracy. Whatever else you may think of him, that cannot be denied. I worry that we are restarting the same cycle. Uh, I, I do not like that Kamala Harris may pick a centrist to appease those that wouldn't be appeased by her own centrism. I worry that we will grow a new radical right by failing to demonstrate how leftist values can help people because we never fully commit to them. Joe Biden made a tremendous sacrifice because we are under dire threat. If that sacrifice is enough to save us, there's no guarantee that when we get to this position again, by failing to learn our lesson, that the next person will be willing to do the same. And we are playing a game with fascism right now that you only have to lose once to lose forever. And yet... People like Joe Biden are able to change. People like Joe Biden have moments like we saw in his latest speech of, of unimaginable selflessness. That gives me hope. I will forever be angry with Joe Biden and with Democrats for things they have undeniably done and things they have undeniably failed to do. But the same principles that mean I'm going to hold on to those grudges for my whole life require me to be grateful for my whole life, for what Joe Biden just did for America. Thank you, Mr. President.